Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna go through the quick and super fast installation of Novara Linux on the computer. I will guide you step by step, but it's only gonna take a few minutes. It will be very simple. If you wanna check out a full complete guide, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you need more information, but this guide will be super quick. So let's go ahead and do it. First, visit the official Nobara Linux website at nobaraproject.org. Click on this download link. Nobara offers multiple editions like official one, the Nobara custom themed version of KDE. We will try the official one today, so I'm just gonna download this one here. Also, as you can see, there is a standard one and there is an Nvidia one. So if you have Nvidia graphics card in your laptop or on your PC, you need to get this NVIDIA one because it will have proprietary drivers right out of the box. So just click on the download button, accept the end user license agreement, then choose where you want to download it to and click save. All right, the file is loaded. Let's go ahead and verify its integrity. For that, just open File Explorer in Windows if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11. Then find the download folder, then hold shift and right click. It's going to bring up the context menu. You got to choose open PowerShell window here. Where we're going to type cert util, then space, dash, hash file, and space. Then open the downloads folder and find the downloaded ISO file. Right click on it, select rename, and copy the whole name of the file, including the extension. After that, go back to the PowerShell, right click, and then space, and type SHA256, and press enter. This command will calculate the alphanumeric sequence for this ISO file. As you can see, it has calculated this number, which we need to compare to the number on the website. After you have verified the SHA256 sum and the number matched, the ISO file is good to go. After we have downloaded and verified the ISO image, we need to flash it onto the USB drive. And Nobara Linux is actually recommended to use Vento for this purpose. So go to the Vento.net, click on the downloads link. And because we're using Windows, we're going to download one for Windows. Save it to the downloads. And you need to unzip it because it's an archive. Just right click. I'm using 7-zip, it's a free program. And extract files. Click on this Ventoid 2 disk. Insert a USB drive with at least 8 GB space. When you see the status ready, just click install. And it says the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost. So make sure there is no important files on this USB drive before you continue. Double check it. Then press yes. Congratulations. Vento has been successfully installed to the device, press OK. And it has opened us the USB drive where we simply need to copy the ISO file. Once the ISO file is copied, we can go ahead and close this window and remove the USB drive. And we're gonna use it to install Nobara Linux on our laptop. To boot from the live USB, insert the USB drive into the computer that you would like to start the live boot on. Start the computer, to access the boot menu, press the designated key for your system. So just press the key that is designed for your system. Then when you see the boot menu, select the USB drive that you want to boot from. Then when you see the Ventoy menu, choose the ISO file that you want to load from. Then choose boot in normal mode. Then we see the GRUB menu. We need to select Start Nobara 41, then press Enter. It will start loading into the live environment of Nobara Linux. Well, there we go, Nobara Linux is starting. Welcome to the Nobara Live environment. Here you can try Nobara before installing it. This is the installer that we can use to install it permanently on the computer. We simply need to follow the on-screen instructions to choose your language, time zone, keyboard layout. Make sure these settings match your preferences. Now for the name, just type in your name. The login name will be similar. You can choose the name of the computer, then select password, repeat the password again. 
You can also use this password as the root password if you like. You can choose to log in automatically without asking for the password and press next. Now you need to select how you want to partition your drive. For beginners, the automatic option is recommended, which is going to be this first one, erase disk. But keep in mind, this will delete all data currently present on the selected storage device. So if you're installing it on a computer system drive that, for example, has Windows on it, it will format it, delete all the files, and you will lose all the files. So make sure to copy them before you proceed. If you know what you're doing, you can choose manual partitioning, where you can create or resize partitions, but it's more for advanced users. We're going to do the first option. And over here, you got to select the disk that you would like to install it on. You can choose to create swap space which is used as virtual memory when your computer runs out of physical RAM. I don't want to create it, so I'm just going to choose no swap. But if you want to know more about this specific step, check out my full video where I explain everything in detail, what it means to have swap with Hibernate, with no Hibernate, and different file systems as well. So check out the full video in the description. But we're going to continue on. For the bootloader location, Make sure to put it on the main drive, such as DAV SDA. This will make sure that the system will boot properly. And then press next. Here it gives you the summary of everything you have chosen. If you want to change something, go back. Otherwise, just click install. And it says Nobara Linux installer is about to make changes to your disk. In order to install Nobara Linux 41, you will not be able to undo these changes. OK, install now. And Nobar Linux will start installing on your system. This can take a few minutes, so sit back and relax. I will just fast forward it until it's finished. Once the installation is complete, remove the USB drive and restart the computer. We need to just check mark it here and press done. This will restart the system. Once the computer is restarted, it's going to start loading from the installed operating system and not from the USB drive. Well, there we go. No bar Linux has start loading. If everything starts working, it should start loading automatically. If you get any mistakes, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to help you fix them. There you have it. No bar Linux is now ready to use. I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, everything is working right out of the box. Brightness, volume, internet battery and more yeah looks pretty good there you have it guys that is no borrow linux for you everything is working just like you saw so it is very awesome i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more helpful interesting linux videos if you have comments questions suggestions drop them down in the comment section below and if you like what i'm doing and would like to support my channel you can use super thanks or check out the support links in the description I appreciate it very much, but this is it for today. Until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.